is a marriage that has lasted for more than 50 years, Eagle Pitcher Technologies and the space program. The relationship began in 1958 with the launch of the Explorer 1 satellite. Eagle Pitcher batteries were on board. Since then, the company has contributed to every major U.S. space mission and has reached an incredible milestone. It happened on May 11th of this year, 2 billion cell hours in space without a mission failure. It's um something that we've been tracking for many, many years and no other company can, can uh, claim that they have that kind of performance. We have uh, close to around 500 satellites in orbit, power the International Space Station, Hubble Telescope, and uh, there's not any other company in the world that can get close to matching those figures that we have. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. This is the dawning of the age. July 20th, 1969, Eagle Pitcher batteries enabled Apollo 11 to land the first humans on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Less than a year later, Apollo 13. Hey, Houston, uh, yeah. we've had a problem here. Can say again, please. Oh, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. While fuel cells on board the spacecraft failed, Eagle Pitcher's silver zinc batteries did not. At the moment, the astronauts are continuing to try to isolate their trouble. A late report says the spacecraft now is operating on battery power alone. Those batteries were key in bringing the astronauts back home. Jack Brill has one of those same batteries in his office today. He's been at Eagle Pitcher since 1962, one of a generation of young engineers recruited to put men into space and return them home safely. It's always been always been something new for me, and, and I've... Uh, as long as I enjoyed it, I thought I'd stay, and I'm still here. Other high-profile missions relying on Eagle Pitcher batteries include the Hubble Space Telescope, International Space Station, and Mars Curiosity. No doubt the company has been a part of history, not only in space, but also aerospace, defense, medical, and commercial and grid energy storage markets. Another engineer, Jim DeGrusen, joined the company in 1967. Eagle Pitcher has got a diverse population within its personnel and it's just been great to be associated with all these people. As for the future, we really see the future of space being lithium ion and we have the current version of lithium ion that's being used now but in the future I think there'll be really advances to that technology. And that will undoubtedly be used in what was just announced last month, NASA unveiling a 20-year timeline for sending astronauts to Mars. Eagle Pitcher Technologies, the innovation, ingenuity, and success continues.